work. It's an admin day for me. And I just had my uh, apartment complex come and test out my sprinkler. So good news. So should there be a fire, we're, uh, we'll be properly hydrated, I guess. Um, but this morning, um, I'm doing something slightly different with my uh, cauliflower oatmeal. Getting a little uh, wild here. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I don't know, around Thanksgiving time at Costco, they always have these massive bags of cranberry and I just buy several of them and keep them in my freezer. You can keep them in the freezer for a year and then just pull out like a serving. No reason to, no reason to restrict that guy to uh, just a turkey day. I'm going to the stove today. So I just have a serving of the rice cauliflower and a quarter of a cup of the frozen cranberries. And I've added cinnamon and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, the leftover already kind of hot water from my coffee. Just let that cook here on medium heat until you start to kind of hear the, the stuff popping. All right, so um, the cauliflower cooked down a little bit and the cranberries uh, started to pop, so I added um, a serving of um, just regular rolled oats and those have started to cook down and so I just added a tablespoon of this cacao powder that I got from Vitacost. It's completely uh, organic and gluten-free and vegan and full of antioxidants. I really love it. And then I added um, half a serving of the Golden Goddess Chocolate Elixir with turmeric um, and a little bit of stevia and just a splash of leche de cashew. It's totally done and you can see it came out nice and creamy. There's something about this Golden Goddess Chocolate Elixir one that it's really creamy. It's I, I don't know if it's the coconut milk that they use, the coconut milk, um, the, I don't know if it's the dried coconut milk that they use in it, but um, this is a, only has half a serving of it and it is like, as soon as you put it in, it gets, it gets there's like a really creamy consistency to it. The turmeric chai elixir doesn't have that. I'll do that. So, and I've also added um, basically the equivalent of two egg whites. All right guys, so it's about, I don't know, 2.15 and I've just been working on a um, presentation for work and um, taking care of some uh, administrative things. Um, but right quick, you guys were asking me if I could recommend a sunscreen that didn't kind of leave the skin shiny. I've been making my I've been making my way through a bag of uh, little samples of these uh, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch that I have really been liking, and I find that this goes on really nicely, blends easily, doesn't leave the shininess. So here are the ingredients. As I've mentioned before, and you guys have pointed out, um, the chemical sunscreens degrade with time. That's why I'm trying to go through my stockpile of this right now. These ingredients absorb ultraviolet light, whereas your zinc or titanium dioxide based sunscreens uh, physically block the sun. And another question you guys were asking is, do I wear sunscreen on my body or just my face every day? I'd like to say I wear it all over every day, but I'm not super good about it. Um, especially this time of the year when I tend to wear, I tend to rely more on the fact that I'm wearing long sleeves and long pants. Um, I do put sunscreen every day on my hands though. Um, I put it on in the morning as part of uh, when I'm putting it on my face. I also put it on my, the tops of my hands in particular. Um, so that's the reality of it. The other thing that I will point out that is very important for women in particular uh, is that uh, one of the most common locations for non-melanoma skin cancers in women is on the lower legs. Um, and so in the summer months in particular when I'm wearing shorts predominantly or on a day where I'm wearing a skirt, um, I will uh, make sure and put a lot of sunscreen on my um, shins and on my lower legs. And I'm gonna have another uh, chai elixir. I'm either gonna have the chai or the chocolate, I don't know which one. And um, so I'm boiling the water for that. And then I'm gonna heat up in the microwave and have for, I guess, lunch um, this. Uh, I, so I completely forgot I had this. I got this from iHerb um, a few weeks ago, if you will remember. Um, it's the Seafair Pacific West Coast Pacino, uh, Chipino. I'm really intrigued by this because uh, while it sounds like it would potentially be disgusting, it's got like really good sounding ingredients in it. And then I don't know what it is, why I can't seem to coordinate this, but it seems like every Thursday I am dangerously low on cashew milk and I have to repurchase. And I remember um, I have a coupon for cashew milk uh, from Kroger, so I'm going to go to Kroger probably and pick some cashew milk up. 
and the sun's coming out, so I think it's a good time to go out now. There's no more rain. Um, I've got to say, bad weather here is pretty short-lived. So I'm just nuking it in there for a minute and 30 seconds, and you can see it's steaming out of the little vent I cut at the top where it tells you to, but... So there's the Chipino. It looks pretty good. Um, and here's a close-up of the packaging. Um, I get this. I got this from iHerb. Here's the uh, chocolate uh, chai elixir. And like I said this morning, this one is quite a bit creamier than um, the others. But so this Kroger has this nice little thing where, in addition to having um, the traditional handicap parking lot, it also has a nice little slot reserved for um, pregnant women, which I think is fantastic. Carrying, you know, a body inside of you along with a fluid sack, um, you know, sometimes it requires urgency to get to a place where there's a bathroom. So I think having a close-up parking spot is just a really nice gesture on behalf of this business. Puzzled as to why a man by himself uh, parking there. Uh, does he not understand what uh, reserve for pregnant women means? Um, and there's an image of a stork with a little baby on it and a silhouette of a pregnant woman on it. So if he, if he doesn't speak English or read English, then that's just not an excuse. I mean, isn't like, a stork, is a stork not a universal symbol for a baby? I don't know. I just think that's rude and inconsiderate. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough when people try and sneak into the handicapped parking spots, but um, see, they know that they can get caught there because you have to have a sticker. But it's less likely that you're going to get caught if you park in the pregnant lady spot. But if I see him in there, I'm going to give him the judgy McStink eye. All right, guys. Well, I'm back, and it's already getting dark. I'll show you right quick what I got. Of course, what I went in there for, I got two uh, cartons of cashew milk. I got some more organic uh, white mushrooms, a thing of organic carrots, and uh, this was also on clearance. I'm going to make a tomato sauce, I think, um, and I have everything I need, but I always, I never seem to have tomato paste. And, um, jiving on the Cavita waters, guys. I love these things, and I really like this lemon cayenne flavor. These are the raw um, organic almonds, unsalted, just just raw plain almonds, and I got an onion because um, I'm almost through with my onion. And then more lemons for my lemon water. And then another bulk bin favorite are the dark chocolate espresso beans. And then I know typically it's like way cheaper to buy heads of cabbage, but it's time is money, you know? Definitely worth it. But anyways, I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna head to the gym. So that's where we're at, guys. Washed my makeup off in the shower and then put on, yet again, oil-free moisturizer. I've already greased the orifices to prevent the adapalene from getting in the cracks of the three topical retinoids. Technically, adapalene does not need to necessarily be put on at night. It could be put on in the daytime. It is posited to be uh, photostable. But my rationale is I want to put it on a clean, dry, moisturized face and I just want to let it sit on there. I don't want to be coming in over it with makeup or even though I don't wear much makeup. I don't want to be muddying the waters in other words. That's kind of been my rationale for doing that. Um, but technically adapalene is supposedly reported to be uh, of the three uh, photostable. Now tretinoin and Tazeratine or Retin-A and Tazerac, as their uh, trade names are, um, are not. So you want to definitely put those on at night. Yeah. All right, I need some clarity and focus, so refreshing peppermint. Do y'all use these? Is there a fragrance you'd recommend I use besides mint and lavender? Um, I like to make my way through one before I start acquiring a, col a collection. This ain't like Mrs. Dash, you know. Um, but anyways... Um, Oh, and I'm finally, uh, so I'm finally wearing my, uh, Christmas, uh, pajama shorts my mom sent me for Advent. Um, so, yeah, Mom, I like them. Yeah, it feels like the tag is still in there, though. I've got to take that out. That is such a classic move of mine to, uh, go out and about with a tag still on something. Like those annoying long stickers that say your size, that they sometimes stick on the back of pants legs. And yeah, I've definitely gone a full day uh, with my size um, on the butt of my, my pants for everybody to see. Skirt, you know when you have a skirt or a dress or something and it's got those little, um, that little X on the back to keep the, 
the little split together. Like, why do they put that in there? Just to give you something to cut out or forget to cut out and then to look like a dummy? Honestly, I don't know what the purpose that serves. I tend to neglect to identify those things. Um, but anyways, I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget your sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.